All right, we're gonna chain stitch on the Singer Touch and Sew 600. I think it's probably similar on most of the other Touch and Sew models. You need three little extra bits um, to make this chain stitch happen. It's a single thread stitch, so you don't use a bobbin. You take your bobbin out, and instead of the bobbin, you have a little cover. That's one of the bits goes over where the bobbin was and it just latches in there. I'll take it apart when I'm done and show what it looks like. You also take off your regular needle plate, the one like this, and you have a special chain stitching needle plate. So you gotta have that, it's not gonna work without it. And you need this extra thread guide that I'll show how it comes off, that snaps onto the machine here. And you cannot close this while you're doing it so it's kinda ugly, that's gonna stay open. For your stitch settings, you can only do this on straight stitch, and on this machine um, that takes the cams and has the two-part um, stitch selection, you do A, K, basic straight stitch. Stitch width always on three for this um, straight stitch, and your length needs to be between 10 and 12, according to the instructions. So 10 and 12 on length, 3 on width, and your straight stitch settings. And all the little bits are installed. And here we go. Just so. So when you get to the end, you, you chain off just like with your serger. And there's your little chain there that you can also use for, you can make these chain to use for like a belt carrier or, or some kind of a tack that you need to um, tack on shoulder pads, that kind of thing. So there's our little chain, take that off. Now, although it's a chain stitch and a temporary stitch is actually there's the front, looks like a regular straight stitch. The back is the chain. It's actually pretty strong. It's a good, I mean, it's strong enough where if you were gonna do like costuming and you have people of different sizes, you're not sure their size, you want a, a seam that can come out and be easily readjusted. It's strong enough to hold it or for fitting. I think that's the main reason you'd use this instead of basting. It's supposedly easy to pull out and let's see i believe it is easy to pull out i think you're gonna have to break a chain right there come around to the front and grab you a thread all right there's our thread and it's out it's so simple so yeah, if you did um, muslin um, fitting and you wanted a seam, you can, it's strong enough to try it on, then you pull it right out without picking it out. There's your stitch right there. So these bits, in reverse order, you've got this needle plate. And this is what it looks like on the back. So again, your regular needle plate's not gonna work. You're gonna have to have this one. Here's your bobbin cover. Just covers up where the bobbin would normally go. Our bobbin can go back in here. Nice um, self-winding bobbin tube, awesome. And then your extra guide is right here. Let me just pull that off. And now we can close the cover. Put our regular stitch plate, throat plate back on. All right. And ready to go. Now, those three pieces, off and on. After you do it a couple of times, it gets a little easier. I don't know that it's necessarily worth it to put all that on just for basting. But if you're going to base together an entire garment for fitting, maybe worth it. Anyway, it's kind of fun and cool that you can do it.